The Kurzweil PC3 boasts an additional sound engine called the KB3. By its name, it's apparent that one of the features of the KB3 architecture is to emulate the sound of a Hammond B3 organ. There are other sounds created in this section of the PC3, but let's take a quick look at this comprehensive organ emulation. Selecting the KB3 button on the main page provides a list of organ tones available. A click of the edit button reveals a vast palette of customizable functions particular to the creation of authentic B3 tones. The initial drawbar setting that is called up when this patch is selected is indicated here. This can be modified from this page and saved to something more useful for your needs. Artistic use of the front panel drawbars on the PC3 during performance will enhance the artistic emulation of classic organ tones. A fully parametric EQ is provided to dial in a great tone. Percussion and key click are also significant elements of the Hammond sound and these important parameters are available for you to set as needed. Front panel switches on the PC3 are provided above the drawbars to control percussion and vibrato settings as well as a Leslie rotating speaker emulator. These are key elements to getting that sound that has been the staple of pop, rock, and gospel keyboards for decades. Let's touch on the effects section of the PC3. We will select the NYC Jazz Grand Program and click Edit to open this patch. When we click Program Effects, we notice that there are two aux buses. In this case, a short reverb has been assigned to aux 1 and a send amount set to minus 6 dB. However, when we play the patch when it's first selected, there is no reverb. That's because the program has been set up to have the ninth fader on the front panel of the PC3 control the amount of signal sent to this effects bus. Minus 6, as indicated on this page, will be the maximum signal that is sent. As you play and raise the level of the fader, the effect can be heard. If we wish to change a parameter on this effect, just click on the name and a list of available effects will appear. We aren't going to select a new effect, but simply modify what we already have programmed. So just click the edit button. Here we see an effects chain called OmniStage. I will explain the effects chain concept in a moment. OmniStage is made up of a single effects device. We can change any number of parameters associated with this effect, such as reverb time, or pre-delay. If you wish to dig deeper into this effect, click More, and additional parameters will be made available. If we wish to add to the effects chain, select Fun. We can add an effect before or after the current effect. We will select After. Then we will select an effect for this slot. We'll choose 225, Big Slow Flange. Now the reverb from the first slot is passed through a flanger before it's mixed back with the main signal. Here the reverb is being flanged, not the main piano sound. If this isn't the sound you're looking for, select a new one or delete this effect slot completely. Returning to the cold piano program from an earlier example, we will first turn off the string and pad layers so we can better hear what is going on in this example of the use of effects. If we click the Program Effects button, we will be presented with the Effects section, but in this case, the effects chain has been made part of the sound source by using the Insert function. Clicking on the Insert Effects name and choosing Edit, we can see what makes up this sound. Turning the other layers back on reveal how rich this program is made by making use of the effects chain as an integral part of the sound and not applying the effects through the aux bus. Before we go to the last section of the PC3 sound editor, the effect tab on the top of the main page opens a global effects page to access and control the two effects buses for the 16 channels. 
The EQ and Comp tab opens a master equalizer and compressor page that affects the master output of the PC3. Entering the setup pages of the PC3 reveals another universe of power and control. Each setup bank is a collection of programs assigned to the 16 channel slots. Here you can set up layered or split sounds, program a single key or button to trigger a drum groove or bass line, chord changes, or an arpeggiated sequence. The switches on the left side allow access to common parameters for the setup, including common, which are global for the setup, and controls, sliders, switches, program switches, and riff. The setup effects is the same global page we described earlier, and the EQ and comp page reveals that the current setup is subject to the master EQ and comp, or we can have a custom EQ and comp as part of the saved setup. The buttons along the top of the page allow access to the channels that make up the setup. Here we have selected the first setup included in the default PC library called Techno Riff. If we select channel one, we see the maroon drum program is selected. And if we click the Riff button, we see that a song called Riff 247 Techno Drums 1 is set to be triggered by A sharp zero and released by playing A zero. If we select channel two, we see the Born Remix drum program is selected and that it is set to play Riff 242 and is triggered on and off by C sharp one and C one respectively. Clicking the other channel buttons reveals similar parameters, each one being triggered by different sets of keys. If we hit the program switches button, we will see that each of these riffs attached to the channels can also be turned on and off by the eight program switches on the front panel of the PC3. Let's build a groove using these various riffs. It would be impractical in this introduction to the sound editor for the PC3 to explore every parameter available in this incredibly powerful synth and master controller. We hope that you've been able to catch a glimpse of the possibilities and that you will make use of this outstanding editing tool to tailor your Kurzweil PC3 to meet your needs in the studio and on the stage. Explore and enjoy the possibilities. Mm -hmm.